Hey there folks, Louis Sladen here, another exciting removal. This time we're in the town of Bar, Texas. We got a nice pretty exposed hive. We'll be relocating today. God bless us. Not get stung so much. Hopefully we can find that queen, give her a kiss, put up a show for y'all. Stay tuned. Hey there folks. Uh, gonna remove that exposed hive. It's, it's a small hive. Uh, if you are in my area, if you are in my area, I'm trying to, I got three cameras going. Uh, we are recording this one for YouTube, so if we, if we are in our area, be vigilant this year. The uh, swarming season was cut short, or not really cut, but a lot of swarms just hunker down for the high winds we've been having. So we have been finding a lot of exposed hives, and uh, these do pose more of a threat. If you don't know where they're at, and you accidentally run into them, because all them bees will come out, they don't give you a time to run like you do when you have a little entrance and a wall or somewhere. So just be mindful of that if you do find a hive, call us and we'll help you out. You can tell it's a fairly new swarm because of uh, the color of the wax. Let's see if we can find that queen fairly easy today. The wind finally stopped blowing today. So. I don't mind it blowing, but it's not blowing so much. Uh, I want to scatter all of them all over. Let's see if I can get to the main. Cluster. See if I can get them out of the way. And that's what I was scared of. Since brand new comb, it's real brittle. Makes it harder to handle. Believe it or not, the, the weight of the bees uh, actually caused the wax to be a little bit more brittle. So I use the smoke to move them out of the way. Then I'll gather them all later. Put my drink in my cup. I prefer to work on comb that's older just because it's easier to handle. Look how this one falls apart on me. But it is what it is. So I can move this one and get this full one. Beautiful comb. Come on, come on. Come on, try this one. Come on, try this one. I got my selfie stick. What? <laughs> uh, let me show you all up here what we got. Que pasó, Luis? What's up, Steven? Where's the Queen Kiss? I haven't found her yet, man. Mark Samora, we're back. Mark Samora, been there since day one. Uh, appreciate you, man. Hope you had a happy birthday. So I need my own film crew to follow me around. I got that one. Got that one, that one. What the fuck up out of here, guys? All right, let's get the show in the road. Let's go to the Huh? 
gotta be like a ninja on these, cause <laughs> last thing I want is for it to fall all the way. Oh, that. <laughs> these are real bad climbers. They can fly, but when they have to crawl, that whole bunch is fell down right now. Sorry, I'm not talking much, but this one's brittle as heck. Almost like flipping a tortilla. When it's not cooked yet. One more piece of comb and then I'll start rubber banding that and then we'll look for that coin and give her a kiss. See how they keep falling down? I'm gonna rubber band them first. Every beehive rescue poses its challenges. Uh, this one wants the height factor. And two, uh, the brittleness of that comb. The comb's so brittle. As soon as I get to picking it up, with that honey right there, with that honey right there is breaking apart. Alright. As a matter of fact, that honey looks good. Take a little bite. Can't say it's not fresh. We ain't got no bees on it. None of that dollar store honey. Blow that last one up. South Texas special. The real deep South Texas. Right by the border, not San Antonio, South Texas. And Rock Fitness, man, Rock Fitness went to crap, brother. Rock Fitness ceased to exist overnight. I got my own Rock Fitness at the house now. I couldn't. Valenzuela, uh, uh, I'll be back in uh, Iron House Gym in Westlake in wintertime when I start teaching at South Texas College again. I kind of take the spring off because it's my busy season. But let me show y'all what I'm doing. So what happened is the queen fell down with the height and with the weight and uh, she's on the floor and I could have stepped on her accidentally if I wasn't careful with what I'm doing. So that's where you always got to be vigilant and take due diligence in what you're doing. Take a little pride in what you do. A lot of jokers out there buy a bee suit on Craigslist and all of a sudden they're bee experts and bee removal experts. Get the fuck out of here. You know who I'm talking about locally. Uh, pay your dues first.
pay your dues and then come talk to me and tell me otherwise. See if I can grab her with one hand, lick my fingers first, gotta grab her with one hand right here. Grab her with the other hand. Let me take my hat off. Thank the Father above. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to do what I do. Without you, I am nothing. Thank you, St. Martha, Siddiq, your guardian angel. Queen kiss. Mwah. Queen kiss. Once again, be smart, be safe, be strong. Thank you all for watching live. I appreciate you all taking the time off your day to follow me and my shenanigans and, you know, pretty much put up with whatever I do, right? But we are saving the world, and if I got to do this to have people listen to my rhetoric about saving the bees and it's not even bees anymore we're the light bugs this year what happened to all the light bugs there's some more light bugs you know we're, we're killing it pretty much all the insects that we know of and we're going to be in a bind every insect every human every human has its part in life but every insect as well every animal has its being their their life their it's there's life inside these life forms. I said they're life forms. We need to do something about this. We need to take care of our environment so our kids can have something to grow up with and not have to wear gas masks because the earth and the air is so polluted that you can't even breathe the natural air that we have anymore. We have to buy oxygen now, like we're buying water. My grandfather once had told me that he laughed when his grandfather told him there's gonna be a day that you're gonna get to have people buy uh, water he's like how we drink water anywhere in any river we can go and drink water and he's like there's gonna be a time before my grandfather died he says I got to see people start buying bottled water uh, I, I'm afraid that you're gonna have to start seeing people buy oxygen or air to breathe in and believe it or not you're starting to see more people carrying their little oxygen tank around and it's getting tough out there so we need to do something to next time be smart, be safe, be strong. Mwah, queen kiss. Till next time, keep saving them bees.